Ah, there's me, my face, and I. Make sure I have the chat window up, the event window up. Ooh, set my volume to ear-pleasing levels for myself. The rest of you can suffer. And we're set. And yes, this does mean I am playing a boss I have already fought again. It's because you all deserve to see the quality, and it's not because I messed up a save state really bad and I'm embarrassed about it. Nope, nope, nope. It is perfectly intentional. And if I'm willing to believe that, so can you. Camera one. Camera two. There's only one camera. It's camera two. It's you. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's roll. I just want to shout out, I love the fact that he's sitting here playing the piano. I mean, it's clearly an organ that's going on, but it's just a nice touch. Hello, Bowser. I'm an old turtle now. I must fight his children. All right, first up are Inky and Blinky here. Ow. Nice. One, two, one, two. Oh. All right, Inky and Blinky down. Here's Pinky and Clyde. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Just have to be very careful because they have teeny tiny fire that's easy to miss. Excuse me, coming through. Queso too spicy? Well, queso is a little spicy. It's got that, uh, it's got that Latin zest to it. Come on, come on, come on here. There we go. Got him. Curse you, Mario. This time it's time to fight the king. Ow. Boy, he went right for the charge, huh? Oh, that is a lot of fire. Come on. Do your dash. Yes! Alright, come on, man. Do it again. Do it again. Do the dash. I'm willing to sacrifice a life to get this done. Whoa! Heck yeah, let's get out of here. That should refill my health. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. When the ceiling's coming down, you got a serpentine. Yeah, yeah. This actually works for some reason, and I don't know why. I think it's something about the speed I'm going so bombs can't cut me off. I don't know. Serpentine, serpentine. Ow! That was working! Don't prove me wrong, game. Duck and weave and move and weave and duck and weave and you can do it. Woo! Actually, I, I'm, I'm happy this is working because if I had to devise a real strategy, I would be toast. T O A S T toast. 
delicious, warm, buttery toast. Ooh, perhaps with jam. Stay focused. Stay focused. Such a good strategy of just going back and forth. Oh, absolutely putting some toast with it. What's breakfast for supper without toast? It's just a southwestern without, uh, without a raft. Whee! Grab a quick save. Saves refill health. Nicely done, me. Thank you, me. Okay, right, let's get out of here. Those stairs solid. Yerp. if I can get up here. Maybe? Oh, this is all super slippery. One, two, three! Two, three. One, two, three. You know what? I'm leaning towards no. No might be the answer here. All right, fine. Whatever. Let's keep on keeping on keeping on keeping on. Turbo Dash. Yo, Captain, nice to see you. Gonna be trying out your demo once I finish this game for realsies. Which means not messing up the save state. Oh, yeah! And let's see here. Yep, that looks good. Which reminds me, I should make sure not to mess up the save state by going this way. Getting the Grand Star of Time. And then setting a save state. Woo whoop. Perfect. Two, three. I always forget that that's an invisible wall that does damage to me for some reason. Whatevs. Oh, yeah, Kapura Gabura. Oh, wise owl, do you have a treasure for me? Five stars, and I can have another treasure. Perhaps I make a quick detour and get five stars. Yeah, I think I will. But first... Give me that. Give me that! Come here! Yeah. There's a spot you can stand that'll spawn them right on you. Here we go. I am going to need a lot of these extra lives because they double as healing potions. And that's a good thing. Alright, so where do I want to go to find stars? Hmm. That's a good question. Apparently there are some out in the field here. Oh, thank you, Chomp Bus. Hmm, nothing over there. Ooh, I should check out this fenced off area. Oh, what's up, Bomb? Oh, 
Oh, hey, Chain Chomp. What's up, man? You want to be free? I don't think I can free you. Nope. All right. Do I have to blow you guys up? I mean, I can try. Whoosh! Oh! Free the chomp? Well, he's free from his mortal coil. Please do not feed the chain chomps, especially if it is with bombs. They are fed a balanced diet, and bombs are not a healthy choice for their diet. None of these facts are wrong. <laughs> oh, sure. Now I read that. Well, there. I'm not killing them. I'm just, you know, spoiling their diet. Which, depending on who you ask, is the same thing. Either way, they're very happy about it. So, you know, win-win. Alright, that's 116. Neum. Where else would there be treasure? Okay, a little bit of coins. That's kind of treasure. Unchain! Chomp! Ah, oh, that series of words. These chomps are, in fact, unchained. They're just enjoying themselves a nice little wagon ride. All right, where else would there be, well, anything? Uh, I just, I can't help it. It's so ridiculous. And you say it so enthusiastically, I picture it in my head every time. Well, whatever the audio version of picture. Hear! That's the word I was looking for. I hear it in my head every time. A public chomp bus. Hop on the trailer and arrive at your destination faster. Don't worry about the chomps, they're harmless. That's cool. Good chomps. Very helpful. Much contribute. But where would the other stars be? Ooh, perhaps in the river. Hello, little bomb. I think you're for the rocks over to the side, so I don't care about you. Such public, much service. Probably very unionized. Which is fine. Even chomps deserve to be in a union that looks after their own interests. Hey, Goomb. Oh, a scarecrow! I know what to do here. Here, scarecrow, have my hat. Star get. Oh, there's more in this field. I have so much to explore.
Ooh, can I go through here? What if I'm invisible? Nope. Ooh, a rumor. Is it is it gossipy? Is it juicy? Is the kind of thing that I can listen to while I get my hair did and go, oh girl. I probably can't swim under this, but let's see. <laughs> but it'll give you something to mock all night. That works for me as well. Wait, is there... Oh, that's just the other side of the wall. Okay. We're getting CrossFit? Like, you the store or us the mall? Us the town. Ooh, wait. Isn't CrossFit, like, an independently owned thing? Like, um... Like, Avon, but for, uh, bro dudes? They're building one? Oh. Hmm. Under which local um go getter and and or she e o will be uh taking charge of that. I mean, it doesn't have to be a sheet EO, but, you know, when it comes to starting a business, I feel like uh, most of the time women have a bit more willingness to deal with it. Hey, let go of me. I was scratching myself. Have a bit more willingness to go through with it. But hey, it's a small sample size. if there's anything here it says that there's a star somewhere in this area that i have not attained plus i mean you know crossfit it's not just a brand it's a lifestyle that didn't work let's try this one All right, well, if I take a quick look around here, I feel like it should be on top of that tree. I right, guess I'm not going up on top of that tree, but there's nothing up there, so it's all good. I don't know. At the end of the day, CrossFit is fine. I uh, like and appreciate the idea of doing multiple exercises at the same time for uh, both efficiency and calorie burn. But, B-U-T, but. I feel like people get way too into promoting it, and it ends up like Herbalife and stuff like that, where you go, oh, hey, yo, sign up for my CrossFit, and we'll start you off with the blah package of the blah package, and you could be a reseller yourself, and you could be your own business owner if you join here at CrossFit. Hmm. 
Tarico, Penguin River, Penguin River. Oh, apparently there's a star here I have not gitted. Well, let's go get it. Don't think it's the red coins. Pretty sure CrossFit has no MLM to it. All right. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. I know very little about it. Other than that people brag about it a lot. And that it involves some whole body exercise. But the way people talk about it, it sounded so much like an MLM. Like people were always so eager to sign you up for it. And to sign you up to get other people to sign you up for it. And blah, 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 blah. Don't get me wrong. I could absolutely be wrong about that. Hey, Mr. Penguin. Bye, Mr. Penguin. There are a few stars in this giant fish I did not get. So why not, right? Quick save. Let's roll. Oh, it's so fleshy. Uh, down the hole. All right, let's get the clam coins here. Reminds you of the Magic School Bus episode inside Ralphie. Gotta admit, I prefer that one over the one there inside Arnold. Boy, they just want to show everything he had crammed inside of his butthole in that episode. Oh, can I go up here? What is this a shadow of? Nothing? Cool. Hello, little penguin. You're gonna be my buddy. Yeah, you is. Come on, little penguin buddy. We have so much to explore together. Oh, you can try that command, but I don't have any set up. Appreciate the lurk, though. I wonder if I can do this with the second jump. Ooh. Yes. Ah, oh, nailed it. Uh, what if put the ping in there? Wow. Hey, Clam, you got a red coin? Nothing. Alright, trying again. Up the boxes. Oh, I already got that star. Oh, even easier. Even fantabulous, fantastic, whatever. All is well. Bonk. Come on, little penguin. We're gonna go this way now. Explore the tunnels of... Let's call them love.
Got a switcheroo. Yeah. How about you, Clam? You got any red coins in you? Where are the red coins? All right, little penguin. We're gonna go for a waddle. One waddle, two waddle, hop across the waddle scotch. Yeah, that's the stuff. Hey, Mr. Clam. Hold that for me. Still wonder how I'm supposed to get that guy. Must be a weird jump. One, two. Hmm. Nothing. Doesn't make sense. Also, no more red coins. Cool. Hey, penguin. Here, you wait right here, buddy. Can I swim through this if I'm invisible? Nope. Wah! Wah! Come on, penguin. Thanks for getting stuck on a hill. Really appreciate that. You know what? No, I should explore a little more just to see. Swim, swim, swim up. Maybe I have to look for invisible platforms? <gasps> Bounce off the back? Hmm. Doesn't make sense. Only other thing I can think of is there's a switch like a billion miles away. Billion, with a B. That makes some crates appear here. Really long, long jump. Go! Nerp. Well, I guess that star wasn't meant to be. You know what? You can be a clam penguin from now on. Where the rest of those red coins are. Where would they be? Where would they be? What does this box do? Oh, yeah, it makes those ones. That makes sense.
Hmm. One, two, three. Ooh, can I run through this? Nope, need the penguin. Well, let's get the penguin. Hey, little buddy. This is a lot easier when I know that there's stairs here. Oh, you are a jerk, penguin. It's not my fault I dropped you, but you're still a jerk. Stop falling through the bricks! Nope. There, thank you. Come on back. Alright, trying again. Whoop. Whoop. Basically, I just want to avoid grabbing onto a ledge. There we go. Hi, penguin. I know, I know. You're a penguin. That's excellent news. Come on, penguin. We got much to do. Camera will catch up in three to five business days. There we go. Wah, wah. Yep, you're a penguin. Hey, buddy. It's kind of hard to grab you in here. So if you could be a bro and just hop in my arms, that would be most excellent. Thank you. Now stay right there while I go hit the switch. Oh, thank you. Hey, Clams, you got anything? No red coin, huh? How about you, other Clam? As far as Clams go, you guys are kind of jerks. Yeah, got a penguin. Whee! Thanks. Penguin, need you to go right here. Thank you, buddy. Got a little too eager with the jumping. Let's try again. Does a little flip, then I do a little flip. Then it does a little flip. Then I do a little flip. Ah. Uh.
blue flip. Red flip. Blue flip. Red flip. Got it. All right. Progress. Well, that's the boss who I do not need to fight again. Hello, Penguin. I'm going to go see if there's red coins in this room up top. Seems like the place to put them, but I don't know. I don't know. Are they in the holes? Can't see squat. Trying again. Beautiful. Oh, they are in the holes, like right in the center. <gasps> I've solved the puzzle. Maybe. Possibly. I have a pretty good feeling. So then if I were to hop in... This one, right in the center. Yeah. I am so happy I got the item that prevents fall damage, or else this would be awful. Don't have anything that prevents total damage, though. Here? That sounded like seven. Dun, dun, dun. I think this hole? Yes! All the red coins! It's over here? Uh, I don't think I'm getting that other star in this dungeon, so I'm going to just scooch my way out of here. Wrong way! I just need to find one more star for that beautiful present. But where? Where would that star be? I mean... There's lots of possibilities, but which one should I go for? What's one that I've forgotten? Put aside for too long. Set a quick save state here so I don't make myself look like a doofus. Apparently I've forgotten one in Penguin World, but I don't know where. Oh, and one here in the mountain. I think that cannon's broken. Yerp! That's a broken cannon! Oh, I think there was a scarecrow in here. 
That's probably a good place to check. Hey, Sniffets. Jump. Ooh, I like blue coins. Give me them blue boys. One, two, three, four. Where's that scarecrow live? It's down here. Meow. Where are you at, Scarecronius? Boink. Ooh. What is over here? Alright, up this thing. No scarecrow as far as I see. Well, that's just a little bit bully. Whoop. Excuse me. I suppose I could go this way. I'm on this side of the mountain. Hooray! That takes me to the Lost Woods. Uh, do I care about the Lost Woods? And there's a star I couldn't find in here, so why not? Ow. Do, 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 do. I know where it is. I can't get it. Because the star is so high and so far away. It's annoying. And I won't win. But I guess that I could try at least. No, I'm not going to try. I'm gonna finish that song. Ooh, there's a star up top over to the right. <gasps> I have an idea. Scarecrow! Except I'm gonna launch it from over here, because this looks more promising. Wow, I got super lost. Alright, new plan. Throw my hat from where the star spawns. Probably more productive. Come on back. Yeah, that was a better plan. Yes! That's 120! Time to go get whatever ridiculous power that owl has in store for me. I don't know what it is. I hope. Alright, that was weird. I hope that it's useful. I don't know. 
big roll. Neow. Yeah, I grab some cash while I'm here. Why not? Do a little bounce. Boing, boing. Is that a little more cash? All right, a little more cash. To the owl! Oh, great Kapora Gabora. What beautiful treasure do you have for I? You unlock thick skin. You'll make, take significantly less damage. Oh, baby, that was worth every extra bit of effort. Mm. I'm happy. I am so happy. Because this final boss is... And I assume it's the final boss because I can't imagine a climax better than the climatic climax that this is. Is nuts. All right. State saved, game saved, let's dig in. Doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. Should I want to have got more lives? You know what? The answer is yes. Whee! Hey, you shopkeep, stock me up. Twenty-three. It's a good number. Grab a little magic. Now we hit the save state. Blah 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 blah. Super dangerous Bowser. Fight. Save me the trouble of hunting you down, blah, blah, blah. Undefeatable. Are you ready? Because I am not even close to ready. Oh, the swelling orchestra. The fire screeching across the screen. First and easiest hit, consider it done. Right in the snout! <laughs> and then it gets worse. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, those clouds disappear. That's unnerving. Right in the snoot again. Well, he don't get he don't like getting bonked in the snout. Yeah, keep on keeping on, Bowser buddy. Boink. That gets tough to hit. Come on, you big turtle dragon. We've got much to do, and all of it is you to die. 
Nice fire. Does it come in shell flavor? Thank you. Oh. Well then. I didn't think you would hit that back. Missed? Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Woohoo! One. Two. Apparently just two for now. Hey, I can do this. Really? Felt like I had dodged that fire breath, but the game disagreed. All right, up the clouds. Boop them right in the snoot. He's not done yet, though. Uh, this is where I got stuck last time, so let's see if I can do this. Oh, Turtle Man. Turtle Man. Your great claws strike fear within me. Really? Really? Oh, no. How am I going to do this? I need more magic. Oh, I need lots more magic. Excuse me, do you spit out magic anywhere? Because that'd be pretty dope. Nope! Okay, fine, bye! Just gonna have to let the passive recovery deal with this, which is not optimal. Oh, maybe I can jump over it. Yeah, that's a possibility. Let's try that. Oh, yes! That could work. So I'll jump over it a few times. Aw, sibling made you a clay figure? Definitely gotta check that out later. Come on. Come on, Bowserino. Good cry? That's good. Alright. I am going to... Yeah, 
get a little bit more magic before I try this. Ah, the jumping plan seems to work pretty well. Haha, -ha, I can jump over everything! Do I have enough magic? Yeah, I'm gonna pretend that I do. Really? I think it's hard to hit back. Come on, Bowser, my man. Yeah. I wonder if the explosion from my ground pound could hit it back. That's dumb, but worth a try. That didn't do a thing. Alright, after one or two more cycles, I should have enough magic to fight back. Gonna wait for one more. Turned the camera the wrong way. Almost fell off. But almost falling off is fine, because it's not falling off. Falling off is the worst kind of falling off. Is this enough? I'm going to make it enough. annoying there's no way to refill my magic here and you think if I needed magic that there'd be a way to replace it. I mean, if I didn't have the slow regen ability, I would be T-O-A-S doomed. I'd have to just give up halfway through the fight. The weird thing is, that bonus you get based on the amount of stars you have. So, if I didn't have enough stars for it, I also wouldn't have enough magic to do this fight. Alright, two more cycles should be enough. Plus, this music is just... Delightful. It's a shame that spin move isn't good for anything. Wait, does that spin move make me invincible? I feel like the answer is no, but I should try it. Uh, what? Yeah. 
That does not make any sense. It must make me invincible. But it makes me invincible in a way I can't hit back the shell. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's see that one more time. Yeah, it stops my health from draining. That's so weird. All right, Bowser, let's try this again. Wow, that thing comes back fast. I don't have an answer for that. That's just a yikes across the board. Yeah. Alright, toss me the fiery shell. I'm just going to bounce off of it here. Yep. Alright, king of all Koopas, let's do this. You suck. Hmm. Although maybe I could minimize the damage. No, I can't do that. Thought for a second maybe I could, like, bounce off of it, immediately twirl, but nah, no work. No worky, not goody. Do I have on any other sweet, cool moves? See, I got the long jump that uses magic. The metal cap, which definitely uses magic. And the fireballs that use magic. What did I get from the forest temple again? Uh, oh, the hat throw, which is not going to do a thing here.
the ground pound, which is useless. Life trade's been saving me. What else, what else, what else? Hmm. I didn't bring a bomb with me, and I'm pretty sure it would have been useless. The Invisicap's been helpful. Although I still kind of wish that I had slower magic drain from it. Is this enough magic power? Let's try it. Nope. Well, I mean, it might have been, but I missed, so that's on me. I don't take fall damage, but that doesn't matter. Nice. What else is there? I got nothing. I got nothing. I gotta bounce the shell back, but... None of my attacks let me bounce it back without taking damage, so I need to be moderately invincible. Being invincible costs magic, which means I need to let my magic recharge. Wow. Good aim, Aaron. 10 out of 10. Woo-ee! Pushing the wrong button on that one. Youch. All right. Keep on keeping on keeping on. Beep. I am so happy the music's good here, or else this would be completely annoying. I thought it was worth a try. Need more magic, yeah! Hmm. I wonder if using this twirl recharges my magic. Answer seems like no, but... Might as well keep doing it for that sweet scream. Remember, if the one you love screams, it means you're doing it right.
Yep, thanks for the fire. Quite appreciated. Can you do it again? Ooh, fire. Nice. How about a shell? A shell that's on fire. Yeah! Oh man, magic, I need ye. Give me another shell. Whee! All right, about two more and then I think I should be good. I'm glad I learned that the spin move keeps me safe, or else this would be terrible. Alright, I think this is what I'm going to try. Although, for the sake of... Ability. I'm setting a save state, and I'm gonna do this. Really? You know, let's actually get the health meter out of the way here. Just in time for the clouds. By the power of John Leguizamo! Can I do it? Yeah, I want to save. Oh, he did. Made by Kaze Emanuar, a legend. Woof. Just woof. That whole hack was fantastic just absolutely delightful across the board oh but man that final boss 
probably could use with some sort of magic power dispensary to make that a little less tedious. But I had a good time. All right, Cap'n. Let's see if the one I got from you works. Probably does. Do, 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 do. Movie something. Movie something. Mario of Heaven. Movie marathon. Oh yeah, Project 64 does not like changing raw midstream. Oh, I already patched it. Don't you worry on that. I've been doing that nonsense since 2006. Ah. Oh, Project 64 is not having a good day, though. Close window. Close program. Wait, five, four, three, two, one, go. Movie marathon, probably under M. I got this running on the Project 64 uh, visual, so let's see if that's good. Hello, Mario! Uh, let's see here. Scrunch down your face a little. Snout goes up. Mouth agape. Uh, let's give you some George Bush ears. That's W, not Herbert Walker. Um, let's see here. Mustache goes down. Perfect. You look like someone Popeye would beat up. Eeny, meeny, miny, D for dynamite. All right, we got a green star here. What do we got? This is a demo. <laughs> wow. No way. But levels are only placeholders, as they will become more detailed and better as I work. That tracks. More feedback at Captain Clown C3469. I assume that's a Discord tag. I know nothing of Discord other than, boy, do I miss just having groups in Messenger and IRC channels. IRC channels were dope. But technology moves on, so I must keep up. <clears throat> you love movies so much, you want to watch every movie in the movie theater. Yeah, all right, I'll play along. Instead of watching them on Blu-ray or very legal movie websites, and now you're spending all this money in theaters like an idiot. Oh, dude, mean words. All right. Is this the movie theater? Zion from the Matrix. Wait, was Zion spelt with a Z or an X? I always thought it was an X, but... You know what? I couldn't get through more than about half hour of the second movie, so I never actually saw it be spelt. Anyway. Let's go see. Never send a human to do a machine's job. Quality quote. Huh. Interesting pipe just sticking out here. Kind of want to go in it. Must be exit only. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a blue skidoo. Not exit only? Well, I'll check that out later then. 
All right. Hey, that's fine. It's nice to know. One thing I've always wondered about Mario 64 hacks, because I have not poked around in Toad's tool at all, is do you have to draw the geometry that map the textures over them, or can you just kind of eyeball it right in the tool and just pull and stretch? Because that'd be a lot of back and forth if it's the first way. Don't believe anyone uses Toad's Tool? Oh, what do you use now for Mario 64 hacking? ROM Manager or six SM64 Decomp? Oh, a star! Hello! Hmm. Decomp sounds extra technical. Probably much better than Toad's Tool, but interesting. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do it again! It's all around us, even now in this very room. This one must be the red coin one. Let's go get him. Here's the green star I found earlier. Uh, maybe I'm just unappreciative, because I spent a lot of time in my teenage years and early adulthood using Lunar Magic for Super Mario World, and that program was easy! Holy bean burritos! It was... Probably the easiest way to edit anything ever. Wait, is this just a high curb? Oh, so it is. So seeing something like Super Mario 64 Decomp as an editing tool? That sounds... Frightening. Lunar magic is a little difficult. Ah. You know, it is a little daunting at first. The reliance on keyboard shortcuts actually surprised me a lot. Like, I've never used a program that came out after, like, 1995 that needed to use the delete key so often. It was weird. But... At the same time, it was very functional. And once you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, everything else is just... It's just gravy. Although, importing personal resources, you can almost never do from Lunar Magic. It needs so many external tools. Use the delete key very often? Alright. Oh, like, I'm used to... Uh, control X, or Backspace, or even right click. But to actually use the delete key for something in a program and the delete key having a unique function? That just blew my mind. It was like, wait, what? What is this? DOS? Whatever. But at the end of the day, I like Lunar Magic. Like I said, you need a lot of other tools to get any external resources added in, which is... Well, except for graphics. It can handle graphics pretty well. But everything else needs a lot of external tools, and it's just... Oh, wow. Why? It's a shame you couldn't bundle them together. You think that's air you're breathing? Oops, I guess I picked the wrong one. Oh, well. But at the same time, I have to thank Lunar Magic and Fusoya. That's the guy who did it. 
That's the guy who made it. I gotta thank him, because with that, it got me super interested in game dev. And, while I'm not particularly good, it's such a nice gateway. And I think people don't give enough appreciation to hobby products like that. In fact, one of my favorite, favorite examples is... There's someone I follow on Twitter who's like head honcho of security at this at a Fortune 500 company. I don't know exactly which company, and they're smart enough not to share. But they're like tippy top, very important there. Oh, that works. And they say their career in computer security and programming and whatnot started with just dinking around with HTML to make their Neopets store look better. The body cannot live without the mind. And I love that. I love that thought. It's like, oh, hey, I'm now super successful and I love what I do and I'm top of, uh, top of my class at everything security related. And I'm interested because of all the time I spent playing Neopets. No one gives enough credit to hobby stuff. You can learn what you want to do forever from hobbies. Bye, Mario. And you know what? Mario 64 is probably a great way to get into uh, 3D modeling, come to think of it. Exactly, Seabug. Confession, I don't know a lot about 3D modeling. But the weird thing is I took a crash course. I say took, like I signed up for Skillshare or something. No, 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 no. I, uh, I went out on my own to learn a lot about... Ah, normal mapping. The uh, about a year and a half ago, which is definitely not applicable to this. There's no way a Nintendo 64 understands what a normal map is. Where was I going with that? Point is, 3D modeling has changed a lot, and trying to get any of this done through assembly has got to be a pain. All right, new plan. Explore the city some more. Assembly's no longer needed. Hallelujah! Assembly as a language and procedural computing and blah 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 something or other is logical. But, it takes hours in assembly just to make a prompt that says, Hello World, and it is nonsense. I can, I mean, I probably can hop up here, but I'm going to have a terrible time. Yeah. Whoosh. Ah, thank you, coin. Oh, I wonder if there's anything back here. Assembly is no longer needed, though. So beautiful.
This is way too sunny for Zion. Although the floating island is definitely on brand. Oh, there's a roof here. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Who's your thinker box? It's all around us. Those are tall buildings. All right, that's the pipe that takes me to the star that's triggered by a switch, which makes sense. There's not many other places to go. Alright, in the pipe. No, pipe's over here. And a down we go. Check for weird things on the side. And a one, and a two, and a jumperoo. Wow, good jump. Ten out of ten. Super. Okay. Let's roll. Yeah, yeah, body cannot live without the mind. Uh, do, 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 do. Even in this very room. Alright. Take a quick peek for anything else that may be around here, and then accept the fact I'm going to have to find a way to get into this pipe. Alright. Let's see here. This pipe is very round. Closer. Less close. All right, Aaron. Let's uh, let's think about this. All right, camera. I'm asking you to play nicely. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, that was the one I was looking for. Denial is the most predictable of all human responses. So I'm pretty good at denial. question would be, what here reeks of denial? Probably Egypt. But more specifically... Then back and forth, then back and forth. Outstanding. Choke any harder, I'll get five figures for a movie. Okay, evil, but not that evil, make me do that many wall kicks? Oh. Yo, what's with this monolith over here? Oh, it's just the top of a building. Wow, I ended up a lot higher up than I thought I would. Okay, down we go! Oh, then, where to go now? I've got four out of, I, if I recall correctly, six stars. Thank you, Arrow. Very nice of you. But I'm going to defy your arrowiness. Want a hint because this star is not obvious? You know what? I would love a hint, actually. Oh, a star! <laughs> Was that the one? Did I find it? <laughs> oh, that's the last one. All right, I actually want to see if the uh, original star mission shows up or something. Behind Jane Chomp's gate. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> oh. All right, that was, uh, that was delightful. I definitely see where you're going with this hack, and I think it is going to be a smash hit when it's done. If I were to offer any criticism that is relevant to how far you are in, I'd love if the quotes had a little more to do with the where the stars were that would be pretty dope but as a whole i think this is gonna be a great hack when it's done almost done with demo 2.0 cool admittedly i probably won't play again until it's either close to done or done 
Because as nice as it is to play demos and watch progress as it goes, and try to make the quotes relevant, hmm. I suppose there's a lot that goes on in the Matrix, and none of it is particularly about climbing on top of a single wall. Hmm. Well, see, now I'm drawing a blank because I'm on the spot. Well, I'm pretty happy with how that went, though, and I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this. Which reminds me... Chrome open. Uh, go down to... Here. Eh, see, I can post links. But that's because I'm the captain. Anyway, that's the site that I get most of my Super Mario 64 hacks from. They don't vet a lot of them for compatibility with modern emulators. But I just thought I'd share that because I know I was talking about it the other day. And as for resources, romhacking.com? Oh, I'll probably check it out. The weird thing is I've gone to romhacking.net a lot in the past. And... Yeah, good job, Mario, with the sleeping. Do, 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 do. Here's my chat window. And... This is where I normally go to get most of the resources for Super Mario World hacks, but Super Mario 64 has its own dedicated section with ROM maps, RAM maps, music, textures to import, all of that stuff. Anyway, those are my exposure points, but I'll definitely be checking out the .com that you linked to me in the Whisper private message, etc. Uh, that Super Mario 64 ROM hacks is definitely quantity over quality, so I'm definitely going to have to follow you on the um, link you sent me to get a better view. Anyway, thank you and everyone for watching. I think I'm going to finish up a few minutes early today because this is a pretty good jumping off point. Mario's having a delightful nap. Good for him. And I'll be back on Wednesday with... I don't know what... Because I'm having a ton of fun with Mario 64 ROM hacks, and now that I know how to get the visuals loading properly with some really old plugins, I'm probably going to play some more of them, some of the classics as they would be listed. So I'll see what's good tomorrow in my own personal time, and I'll share with you the bountiful good news. Anyway, talk to you all later and stuff. Where's that close button? Where are you? No, Streamlabs, come back, come back. Thank you.